I mean, you know, uh, there there are a, a million projects going on, and, and I have to say, I got parachuted into a lot of them by Brad, and and before Brad by other people when I was working for Huon and and also for Royal before that, and. The thing is, the first thing you need to do as a project manager is to say, okay, where's your plan? What are we doing? And they'd say, oh, yeah, you know, here, here's the plan. And they'd give you like an A4 sheet in, uh, in uh, uh, portrait mode with about 20 lines on it. And they'd say, there it is. And you'd say, uh, okay, uh, when was this last updated? Oh, well, when we started the project. And, and they're serious. You know, they kind of go, right, okay. Now let's sit down and talk about this. Apart from the fact that what you're giving me is BS, right, a project plan, and this, this, is, this was always my mantra, a project plan starts about three or four weeks before the project starts, and you spend a lot of time um, working out what's got to be done from point A to point B based on uh, contract analysis, blah, 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 talking to the salesman and finding out all the things that they promised and then seeing what the reality is and getting together with a lead architect, which is, is sometimes like pulling teeth and saying, okay, so what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do, we're going to implement CCMB. Yeah, but what does that mean? Uh, well, I guess we're going to sit down with the customer and find out what they want. Okay, so how long is that going to take? And what steps are we going to take to do that? Like, what are we are we going to look at? Uh, uh, meter reads? Are we going to look at uh, accounts? Are we going to look at customers? Oh, well, all of that. Yeah, okay. What about within? And and so you 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 work out. All those steps, and you want to get into your plan something that's maybe maximum five days. If it's more than five days in a step, there's something wrong because there's more than more. There's more steps in there, and and once you've done all that, that's wonderful. And then people put it away. No, that's not what it's about. You've got to to be able to look at what you plan to do, which uh, tells you what the path is, and more importantly, when are you going to be finished? And when do you know you're finished? Now, if you plan the whole thing, as I said, away from the heat of battle, then you know what had to be done. Now, there will be changes along the way, minor stuff, nothing major. You won't. Ex I, I won't accept anything major. Anybody comes to me and says, oh, well, we need to change what we're doing. No. You need to understand something. We, we, I like your idea. It's great. But we need to put the fundamentals in place before we start fiddling around. So I'll tell you what to do. Here's a form. Go away and fill this form in because that's a really good idea and I don't want to lose it. So, and you don't want to lose it. So go away and fill in the form and make them. Stand on them until they fill it in. And then you take it and you file it away and you forget about it until the end of the project. At the end of the project, you go to the customer and you drag out all these forms and say, now, listen, here's all the stuff that your guys told us they wanted to do. What do you want to do now? And that becomes your follow-on project. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, 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 the business management side of what happens on project management, you know, as part of the project. You know, you get all the salesmen come in and they do all that shit, you know, blah, blah, blah. Promise everything, deliver nothing. Um, we we are in the del <laughs> deliver everything, promise nothing. <laughs> it's the total reverse. But, but mm -hmm. you know that's 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 the thing. It, it's a it's a challenge in itself. Managing the, the the people, the techies can be a real pain in the butt. Managing the customer, who can be even more of a pain in the butt. Um, and and managing what's happening and trying to make sure that you're making progress down that path that you mapped out six, eight, ten, twelve, 
18 months ago. You know, that's you've got to know where you are on that path. A, a lot of people would come along and say to me, uh, you know, from the customer, so, you know, where are you guys up to? Or you'd get out, you know, our own people come along, so where are you going? Oh, I'm two days behind schedule. Like, what? How can you possibly know that? To say, well, it's easy. Here's the plan. Here's everything that's done. Here's what's not done. This is what we're working on, right? We should be, according to the plan, on this date, we should be there. We're actually two days behind. So I'm two days behind schedule. Well, what about the budget? Budget's fine, mate. Well, uh, you know, what, what's happening with the margin? At this stage, margin is about 33%. And they'd go like, what? Nobody would believe it. because. For me, that plan is, is, a, is an active document. It's not something that you put away. You would have seen it at NIE, <laughs> my huge sheets taking up walls of space. Walls and walls, yeah. yeah. But it was everything that needed to be done, and, and it was marked off every week with at the end of the week, you know, on Friday night I'd be working back when everybody else was gone home, and I'd be updating it from the information that they'd given me that day. 